All right, so you guys have been asking for this over and over and over and over and over again. We're going to go ahead and root the Moto G. This is the unlocked version. Let's begin. All right, so there's this handy dandy thread by Android Pit. I'll link to it in the description. So basically, we're just going to need to make sure that we have the ADB drivers installed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to go to my platform tools. If you do not see this folder, I'll have a link in the description called the Android SDK, is.gd slash Android SDK. And so in our platform tools, you won't, you won't see this many files. This is just because I have flashed a bunch of stuff uh, using the Android SDK. So you won't see all this stuff. Trust me. Continue. And then... Uh, the unlock bin won't be there. Firewater won't be there. So anyways, we're going to hold the shift button down. We're going to right click and choose open command window here. Now I'm going to take a USB cable and I'm going to plug it into my laptop. And then I'm going to plug this into the bottom of my phone here. At first it won't work correctly because we need to go to the settings. And then we need to go down to about phone and there's no developer options so we'll go to about phone we'll go to the build number and keep tapping on that you are now a developer go to developer options and then if this is not on you'll just press on it press ok and then you'll need to go to USB debugging R ah this one right here press ok and now it'll be debugging you should get a little pop-up that says you need to uh, press OK. So we're going to go ahead and type in ADB devices. And then it should prompt us in a second here to press OK to allow this computer. If it doesn't, then we need to go ahead and just unplug the device from the computer. And then plug it back in. And hopefully it'll pop up and say, do you want to allow this? ADB devices. Okay, why aren't you being nice to me? Okay, at this point, it's probably an issue with drivers. How you'll tell this is you will go to this PC. So from start, you'll just click your little folder here, and then you'll right-click on this PC, and you'll choose Manage. And then from there, you'll go to your Device Manager. Okay, that's exactly why we don't see that. So you need to download the SDK, which is the AB... Um, you can download the ADB tools. You can do like a small download like they have where it just has the essential stuff. But I have the whole Android SDK installed. Well, not the whole. I installed the Android SDK and I picked out just the platform tools. And that's about it. So we're going to click on the Motorola drivers. And we're going to download for Windows. And then we're just going to let this download. And whenever it's done downloading, we'll, it'll open up here. And then we'll install it. Continue, next, I accept, install. Okay, now it's saying allow this computer and we'll hit OK. And we'll close this out and then we can go back to our, well, it's checking for updates. It just downloaded it so there better not be an update. So we can go back to our thing. Again, to get to here, you just open this up, you go to this PC, you click Manage, and then this will pop up here, and you'll just click Device Manager. And look, see, now we have Android device in the Motorola ADB interface. So if we go back to our platform tools, and then if we hold Shift, right-click, and choose Open Command Window here, if we type ADB Devices, we'll see the device that's attached. So we're good to go there. At this point, we need to go back to that thread and see what else there is to do. So we need to do fastboot, OEM, get unlock data, right click, copy, go back to our command prompt, and then paste that. Okay, so we need to be in bootloader mode to do this. So we're going to go back to the SDK, shift, right click, open command window here, ADB reboot bootloader. I will show you how to do that manually, but I find it easiest to just type it in instead of waiting for commands. So we're going to paste that command one more time, and then it's going to give us a list right here. Copy the character sequence by clicking the right button 
choose select, and then highlight the five lines. Press the Enter key to copy the text to the clipboard and paste it in the input window on the Motorola website. So we need to sign into the Motorola thing here. And then we need to right click, mark, and then choose the five lines. So without the bootloader information. So we'll click on this, enter, and then we'll right click that, hit paste, and can my device be unlocked? Okay, so for some reason it gave me an error at first. We can hit I agree and then request unlock key. And it says, unless you're a developer edition, this will void your warranty. Okay. Unknown error. We will open up Notepad and we'll paste that and then delete, 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 delete. I'm just going to go ahead and accept the agreement one more time and I'm blurring out the numbers just in case it's somehow identifiable to me. Okay, so basically all I did was not copy those last five digits. You should receive an email with your unlock key. Unlocking your device. My unlock code. Copy. Okay, so... Um, turn off your device, start your device in Fastboot, uh, connect your device to USB cable in the command window, Fastboot devices, so we'll copy this command right here, paste, enter, what is the deal? Oh, okay, my bad, ha ha ha. So we got that email with the code in it right here. So we're going to uh, fastboot OEM unlock, copy that, go here and paste it. And then we're going to go back to that email and we're going to copy this code right here. And then we're going to go here and we're going to hit space and then we're going to paste and press enter. Okay, so it looks like our bootloader is unlocked, even though we have a little error on the screen at the moment. All right, this video was strictly just the how to unlock the bootloader. If you have any issues, just leave a comment below. I'll do my best. If I don't reply to you, it's either because I don't have an answer at the moment and I'm looking for one, or I'm simply sleeping, or I'm just not on my computer at that moment to reply to your comment. But uh, if it's not working for you, just uninstall old Motorola drivers, install the new ones that they linked in the description of that thread, try a different USB cable, try a different USB port. I've had issues where like the USB port on a computer or uh, the operating system, try, diff try Windows 7, try I'm on Windows 8.1 right now. But try a different operating system, try a different computer, try a different USB port, try a different cable, just do whatever you have to do to get it to work. In the description, there'll be a link to a video on how to root it. I'll make that one immediately after this one. I'll try to upload both of them together. Basically, you'll just click where it says show more and you'll expand the description and you'll get to see all of the links. And then you'll click the one that says click here to unlock to root your Moto G and you'll root your Moto G. So, yeah, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two main social media accounts that I use the most. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you unlock your bootloader. And if you want to see more videos like this, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. If you're on a computer, click the annotation on the screen right now. If you're on mobile or on something else where you can't see annotations, there will also be a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.